Once located along the Montour Railroad, Coverdale Mine No. 8 officially began operating in September 1920 and mining continued until 1948. It wasn't until 1922, however, that the 350 TPH coal mine temple was completed, and the Coverdale complex was considered state-of-the-art because of the modern electrical system, hoisting equipment, and coal processing system installed. What is now Bethel Park was known as Coverdale Village, which was one of the largest housing regions in southwestern Pennsylvania that housed the hardworking members of Mine No. 8 during this time. Coverdale Mine had 21 electric mining machines, 4 loading machines, 17 coal drills, and 10 shaker conveyors working within the mine. Transportation was provided by 13 trolley-powered locomotives, 7 shuttle cars, 48 steel coal cars, and 526 wooden mine cars operating on 6 miles of 44-inch gauge track. The transformer-generated power was then either converted to direct current for use underground or distributed to the various surface facilities such as the main hoist, auxiliary hoist, mine fan, and tipple. The main hoist had its own generator to supply direct current power straight to the hoist motor and a flywheel which allowed the hoist to operate at almost constant speed regardless of the load on the hoist. The main hoist only handled coal and slate and was rated to raise 5 tons of coal or 8 tons of slate using only a 1.75 inch wire cable. It is interesting to note that the coal that was exported from Coverdale was then sent to Pittsburgh, which placed the steel city in a prime position to become an industrial giant. The hoisting system was designed to handle 600 tons per hour, which equated to 240 mine cars an hour. As a result, the hoist could make a round trip in about 50 seconds. The fan house was in the central brick building that contained the 300 horsepower variable speed fan motor that drove the huge exhaust fan and in this house, continuous ventilation was used to sweep methane gas out of the mine, which was one of the most important facets of mine safety. Some other safety features included a speed limiting system, a switch to prevent overwinding of the hoist, and a recording system to show how the house was being operated. The use of circular picking tables was unique to the Coverdale mine, but they saved a lot of space compared to the rectangular tables used at most mines. In summary, the advanced technology used throughout the Coverdale mine revolutionized mine efficiency as well as laid a strong foundation for the community of Bethel Park. Located outside the Yugoslavia Club in Bethel, a rugged looking statue of an old coal miner stands to remind locals of the hardworking men that transformed Bethel Park into what it is today. Although it is difficult to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Coverdale mine during this time, you could always email historicalsocietybp at gmail.com to schedule a visit to the Coal Miners Museum at the Schoolhouse Arts and History Center, or check out Bethel Park Historical Society on Facebook to see any upcoming events. We may sometimes forget, but the hard labor that these workers put in is the reason that many people today are able to call Bethel Park home.